Dr. Diana Green has finished her first day on the job and she says it went very well. She's the new superintendent of Duval County Public Schools, a position that was left vacant after Dr. Nikolai Vitti left for the same job in Detroit more than a year ago. I talked with Dr. Green about her plans for your child's education. And I want to bring a new set of eyes uh, and really collaborate with the individuals who've been here in the trenches working hard for this school district. Dr. Diana Green says her top priorities will be school safety and academics, but another issue close to her heart is bullying. It actually happened to me for a number of years. The new Duval superintendent understands for most of her students, bullying doesn't end when the school bell rings. There wasn't anything called social media. There wasn't Twitter, Snapchat, and all those things. So at least when I went home, it stopped. Dr. Green says she spoke with colleagues on her first day, and there appears to be a plan in place to address that issue. And it looks like we're going to have a solution that will um, allow our students to report anonymously any issues of bullying. Right now, there is no timeline or details on exactly how it will all work. As for other issues facing Duval schools, Dr. Green admits she doesn't have all the answers right now, but she knows she wants the community and administration to work together. I don't proclaim to now be the beacon of light. I proclaim to be who I am, and that's a person who is very open, a person who likes to collaborate and build relationships so that we can all be successful. And Duval County Public Schools is facing a budget gap of more than $62 million, and the district administration has revealed its proposed budget cuts. Dr. Green says she is proud of the work done by the interim superintendent and the finance department in creating a balanced budget.